three out of four women are incarcerated for drug offences. Even if the offences aren't drug specific, they are still drug related. To me, my arrest was always divine intervention. I don't think there was anyone else who would be so happy getting arrested. Hi, I'm Sharon. I'm 38. This is my story. When I was about 18, my dad stopped working, you know, and he's not worked a single day since. And I didn't quite understand it then, you know. It was only much later on, when I was going through my own situation, that I later realised it was depression he was going through. Everyone has a different prison. In my life, I was trapped in many different prisons, physically, emotionally, mentally, and some prisons are harder to come out of. I started working in a bank. I was working there for about six, seven years before I met a guy in 2013. Somewhere along the conversation, he introduced drugs. Meth was nothing like anything I had tried before. So I thought that it was not affecting me anyway, except giving me energy and helping me to control my weight, which was something that I didn't mind at the time. He was already staying with me at that point in time. He would keep asking me for money to get drugs. When I started holding back a bit on my funds, that was when he started to hit me. He used to tell me about how he would hit his wife, his ex-girlfriends, you know, and that, that was a side of him that only they knew. So when he finally hit me, it was like, wow, I finally know this out of you. I, I'm getting closer to you. The things he would say to me, you know, like that I was ugly and that I was fat, and all those things just made me want to cling on to him even more. Eventually, my parents found out that we were just using drugs, so they kind of kicked him out of the house and I blindly followed. But it was insane. Like, knowing that I still had a house that I could return to, I would choose to spend nights in 24-hour shopping centres. I would shower in public toilets before I went to work every morning. By then, the drugs were already affecting me so much that I couldn't function. Towards the end of the year and a half, I was so sick and tired, but I didn't know how to leave. I kept praying that I would die. My parents tried to get me home. They paid off on my debts. And I came home for a while, but after that, I left again. And the debts just accumulated again to the same amount. By this time, I didn't want to come home again. I, I didn't have a job. I was officially, like, wandering the streets unemployed. Just what I thought was a hopeless drug addict. I remember this whole flood of relief. This is finally over. I'm finally going to be separated from this man. I'm finally gonna be free. Addiction is a disease which needs a cure, and everyone's recovery journey is unique. Some attribute their recovery to organisations, some to self-expression. For me, it's a bit of all that, and the simple joy of being around animals. I helped out at my friend's place school for dogs sometime after I was released from prison. Being around these animals, watching them play, taking care of them, helped release me from my mental prison. Taking care of them reminds me to take care of myself. In the past, I was so caught up with the rat race that I didn't know what I was working towards. I just knew that I needed to work. It's all about being in the moment.